Oh, good morning. It is February 13th. Um, do you know who I am? My name is Liam Lazor. I said I would vlog my process with bottom surgery. It is tomorrow, February 14th. I'm not sure what time I have to go into the hospital yet. I'll get a call later today. But I'm in New York City. My surgeon's um, NYU Langone. I'm going through Dr. Rachel Bluebon Wagner. And yeah, those are the, the surgeons I decided on. I'm here for like a month, basically. And I said I'd vlog my recovery process and stuff because I know a lot of people are interested in this type of surgery and want to see what it's like and stuff. And I know there's not much information out there. So I kind of want to keep my promise of saying that I would film things and stuff for you guys. So we'll see if I keep up with it because I don't know, I'm a little flaky with that. <laughs> Today, I am, I just did a little work right now. I think I'm gonna walk to the gym just to get one last lift in. And the next thing on my agenda is finding some stool softener. I was supposed to take that on Monday and I did not. So that's gonna be my day today, I think. I'm gonna hang out with my mom. Now I just left the gym, flirted my way in through a free day pass with the front desk girl, so off to a good day i'd say it's actually pretty cold here the snow's coming down i got a call during my workout that uh surgery is scheduled for 7 30 a.m i gotta be at the hospital at 6 a.m and we have our airbnb over in the brooklyn area so it's gonna take us about probably 40 minutes to get into manhattan where the hospital is so I'm gonna have to be waking up at the crack ass of dawn for sure. But um, I don't know, I've been feeling good. I've received a lot of messages from people. And honestly, that means a lot to me, especially from people that I wouldn't expect to like reach out, you know? Like it just means a lot knowing that a lot of people are actually following my journey and actually support me. It just, it means a lot to me. I can't really put it into words, but I've done a lot in order to be where I'm at today and just working on my body daily. And I've always had this image in regards to like what I've always wanted to look like. And it just feels nice to kind of accomplish that. Um, it's very rewarding for me. So I've been working on myself like for years now and everything's just finally coming in together. And it's just kind of great to see like how far I've come, you know? Um, I always say it, but it might be a little corny very grateful for everything I've gone through and stuff so this is the very last part of my journey um, my physical transition and it's just gonna be nice to actually get things over with because if I'm being honest I am I'm really tired with everything I would like to just get this past me and actually kind of enjoy life and experience life how I should be like I'm 25 I'm pretty young and there's just things that I'm not able to really do or enjoy just because of my dysphoria and stuff so it just kind of sucks it really plays with my mental health but you know i've been working on it for years now so just excited to get this started but at the same time very nervous uh, very scared as many of my friends do know uh, this is a huge surgery stage one now for stage one phalloplasty it is literally just taking the skin graft off my forearm and i've been going through hair removal on my forearm for the past like year and a half now and I'll still have to go through hair removal after the fact because of my genetics. I'm still pretty hairy. I'm Italian, so just gonna have to still do that on my actual dick. So it's it's not like I'll be really feeling too much in the very beginning of things because sensation comes over time. Um, it's just gonna be more like scar tissue for the first part of things. But it's really just getting the phallus down there placement wise, making sure everything's like, we have to make sure there's a heartbeat, everything's alive, everything's good. Um, and then stage two is really gonna be like closing me up and adding testicles and urethral lengthening. That's the one that I truly wanna get to ASAP because after this first stage, I know I'm gonna be pretty dysphoric about things down there. Um, I just want you to kind of imagine like having like a, a dick down there, but at the same time still having to like sit to pee and just having a veg. Like it's just, I don't know. I've realized how much I've dissociated the fact that I do actually have a vagina. I can't even say it. Um, it just makes me very uncomfortable. But just kind of put that in your head and see how that 
would really play for you if you were kind of like in the same position like you can only imagine how much that could like fuck up someone's mentality and stuff so it's really more first stage is more on me mentally being okay and working on things and working on mostly my um, hand movements and just getting sensation in regards to my my arm and my hand back so I'm gonna be going through a lot of appointments, OT, PT afterwards, um, and then pre-op appointments too. So that's gonna keep me busy after the fact. But for now, I'm not gonna worry about the worst because that's all I've been really doing. Um, I really want it to be perfect because I've worked so hard to be where I'm at with my body. And I just want everything to go smoothly, obviously. Um, I just keep worrying about the complications and stuff like that. So I gotta stop thinking like that. But. I don't know, I'm definitely ready for it. It's just, it's a very scary process for me, I feel, but also it's very rewarding just to know that this is the very last step to get things going for myself. And I, I just truly can't wait for it to be over, dude. Like I've worked so hard to be where I'm at. It's just, I'd like to live. I'm getting like tearing up here because I, I don't know. My life's not the same compared to a lot of my friends just sucks why am i tearing up bro getting emotional but i didn't want to do that um i don't really want to go into that but yeah i'm literally getting stool softener right now i'm outside the pharmacy so i need to pop one of those for today and get that rolling so <laughs> that's gonna be my day me and the toilet gonna be best friends for sure copped about to pop one of these real quick eat some lunch um i'll show you guys like our airbnb and like where we're staying at we're honestly not staying in probably like the best area but the airbnb is a lot nicer than we were expecting it's very spacious i thought it was gonna be like tiny because of the apartments here in new york but so we're actually in the bottom apartment so you come through the door here keypad and then this is another apartment this is our airbnb spacious this this couch tv i plan on being strapped up there during my days um little kitchen table storage this is all my shit maybe i'll show some of that look at my hinged toilet seat my mom say hi <laughs> uh kitchen here bathroom's pretty nice uh, I don't know. But it's a two bed. This is where I plan on shacking up here. And got all my shit over there. Mom's room there. And there's like a back patio that way. But aside from that, let me show you some things that we got for recovery purposes. Uh, we got some dressing here. My buddy Tristan actually gave me some of these things too, so God bless. Maternity pads, solid. <laughs> Got some bandage here, that's gonna be for my arm. More bandage. I bought myself a little fan because everybody says it is so hot in the hospital and you are kind of compressed in a heating pad so you'll be i'm one to sweat so i don't know i got that and it was like five bucks um honey ointment i guess this is good for my scar my arm um that was big whatever this is there's more film tristan gave me his his grabber so i can grab things so that's very that nice of him yeah. Um, what else we got here? More adhesive. Bandaging, more dressing. And then I brought my testosterone. That's the only medication I have. And then my grandma got me a hinged toilet seat. I don't know if I truly will be needing this, but um, we'll see because the toilet seat is high as it is now. But also, we have dog pads because I will probably be like, 
um, ruining the sheets or whatever. So I'm gonna put this down in regards to whatever I'm laying on and don't ruin anything. Um, and lastly, I have some diapers. I wore diapers after my hysterectomy. Um, it was very weird, but I'm gonna have to wear it again. And they're gonna show me in the hospital how to elevate my actual dick because you have to actually keep it elevated um, for blood flow and you can't have it like hanging down or anything. So it will be resting up in a weird spot. And underwear wise, I had to get all new underwear because um, I didn't want to ruin the ones that I have now. And then also I got some cheap clothes in regards to different things that I also don't want to ruin my actual clothes. So I will be slugging it up for a couple weeks now. And that's really all we brought. I feel like this is a good amount of stuff for now and we'll see what else we need afterwards in regards to what they'll tell me. But aside from that, my mom and I are going to go take the subway to Williamsburg, right? I've always wanted to go to Williamsburg, so I wanna check it out. Um, it's more of a richer area of New York. So we're gonna go do that and enjoy our day. It is like 4.30 p.m. right now. Um, she's been working all day and I've been doing stuff on my laptop as well. So gonna enjoy the rest of the night and get to bed early because we have to get up around or leave here by 5 a.m and get to the hospital, so. Well, I filmed absolutely nothing yesterday. It's February 15th today. Um, first day of recovery. Look at what, what's in my beard right now, dude, hold on. The only thing I can say, well, many things I can say, I smell so bad. Um, but I got a really good view. All the sunrise today my mom slept here last night and then i have this tablet well, i guess you can see my arm i'm just like in a lot of pain everything went well with the surgery um i went in at 8 a.m my lips are checked but i was done by like one or two i think and i was just really drugged up coming off anesthesia um I'm grateful for everyone that reached out, but I had over almost 300 messages, and sorry if I didn't answer you, like, it's just way too much, um, but love you guys, thank you, um, I'll show you my arm, like, I've seen my phallus, I've seen my shaft, um, so with this, a lot of you don't really understand, like, they take, they take muscle veins and nerve endings in the skin from my forearm, so I have a, a pretty decent indent on my forearm and I have a wound back over it right now. My hands are very swollen. And it's all I can do with movement wise. I can't really move my wrists, but I had to keep it elevated. Um, I'm obviously not gonna show you my shaft, but after that, they take skin from your thigh so my left thigh has a pretty big skin graft taken from that and they place it on my forearm. And so, and then I have an incision through my stomach, um, my lower abdomen, because they need to like connect things and what they truly want. And I've been checked on every single hour. I barely slept last night. Um, I've been taking a lot of pain meds, um, some drugs and those have been definitely helping out. But I'm in a lot of pain right now. And truthfully, this all just comes down to my mental. Um, I just gotta be patient, but I just stood up for the first time. I did a really good time, I did a really good job. I walked around and held my phallus. And there's a heartbeat, that's what they want, is a heartbeat. Um, so that's what they're checking every hour. And it sounds really good, I hear it. And aside from that, everything's been going pretty well so far. The only thing is like before I went in, so I was expecting to have five to six inches for lengthwise. Um, that's what I was told. And then right before surgery, because I have a pretty decent scar that's just like dead skin that they didn't want to touch um, on my arm. So they had to cut it short. 
and so I wasn't able to get the length I was looking for. It was either I call off the surgery and start using a different donor site and work on that, which would be my thigh, which is not what I want because there's completely different outcomes with the thigh compared to your forearm. So I just say, you know, like I gotta do what I gotta do. Like if that's what has to happen, then so be it. Can't be too picky. Um, just want something down there, you know, so. And what a lot of you don't realize too, I think is like, there's just a shaft down there, no balls. That's stage two. And that doesn't get talked about until I'm actually recovered, um, like three months after. And that's when we start talking about it and start planning to schedule that too. But I have a catheter in, I've been peeing that way. Um, my urine went all over the floor last night, so that was nice. I have not pooped yet. I've been taking some Miralax, took some stool softener. And I have this tablet where I'm able to order things and I can watch TV on there, Netflix. I have a big ass TV in my room. This is my room, bathroom's right there. Um, tomorrow, day two of recovery, I will be getting up and trying to use the bathroom. Um, she's gonna show me how to do that, but they said I did really well with walking today. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to stay hopeful. It's just it's a lot of pain. Um, can't really put into words what the experience is like, but I hope you can understand that it is a lot of pain. So what's on my arm? It is a wound vac. It's a vacuum suction, keeping everything tight. And it hurts a lot. Um, that's what hurts and my incision through my stomach. I can feel that it's been hurting too, but. Day two, recovery. Finally washing my hair. Ah. What am I getting? Am I getting you wet? My mom's washing my hair. She had to wash my face this morning. I get wiped down. Kind of like a sponge bath. Cause you stink. Cause I reek. a lot better. Yeah? Dry my hair. Oh, it probably feels good to be cooled off, huh? Yeah. I'd say day two is harder than day one yesterday. Really? You look way better. Emotionally. Oh, no, physically. Physically, everything's fine. But swellings went down in my hand. You aren't in as much pain either. I have a little thing to work on my finger movements. They don't want me moving my wrist yet with the vacuum seal on. Um, been eating. I have not pooped yet. OT showed me how to get on the toilet today. Walk the hallway later, earlier today, actually later in the day, but in, in bed for the rest of the day. Was crying a lot today, I'd say. It's just like very humbling. It sure is, and, I know. Yeah. It's hard, but can't really put into words what it's like kind of just have to experience it. I feel like everyone glorifies surgery, but then recovery is just a whole different world. Um, but yeah, it's day two. Maybe I can get a video of me trying to get out of bed. If my mom can do that. Um, but show you what it's like. They said I could probably go home Sunday or Monday, depending how it goes. Okay. Yeah, can you dry my hair though? Well, oh, no. 
This is where we're at. We got a nice view. One of the best views here on the floor. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So I have a what's this called? A bear. I have a bear, bear hugger. Bear hugger. On. And it provides heat for like circulation. It's pretty hot. And I have to keep my phallus at a certain like angle or level so it's resting on a lot of gauze. When I walk I have to hold it. Um they made this special underwear when I walked the hallway today to keep it up in the right position. Um, still getting checked on the heartbeat. Everything still sounds good, but I'm not getting checked like every hour like I was. So I've only taken Tylenol today and pain wise, I've been good. So that's day two for right now. It's day four of recovery. Sunday, February 18th today. Um, I didn't film anything yesterday. Uh, yesterday was actually pretty good. I took a whole lap around um, the hall here, which was good. And then I have to like pistol squat onto the toilet because I can't like sit or hinge at the hips yet. Um, that cuts off blood flow. So I had to sit on bed, on my bed and the toilet a certain way. Um, but after I did that, I did faint a little. But aside from that, I had a good day yesterday. Today, it's been a little bit harder. They took off the back, wound back, and they took off um, my leg, that they, they had a uh, casing over my leg that kept it nice and moist. Uh, my leg looks pretty gross. I don't know if I'll show you really, I guess. I can, and if it gets flagged, or I can cut it. Um, that's my leg. So with my leg, they took skin from my leg to put it on my forearm and stitched me up that way. But my leg's killing. I did just try to take a shower and rinse off. Um, that didn't go too well. I, my gown was literally glued to my leg. Um, because of all the blood so it was like dried to my leg and we decided to take it off in the shower to see if the water would help rinse it and loosen it up um yeah no that that didn't feel too good uh that just took a lot out of me taking that off my leg so i ended up having to sit down in the shower and um all the nurses came to like tra transition me over to my bed. So now I'm just laying here. Um, I get to leave tomorrow though at noon. Discharge is at 12 p.m. So that's exciting. That'd be day five. Five days in the hospital, but a little nervous because I've been trying to do a lot lately and it's just like not it's not working for me I've been passing out or getting dizzy pretty easily so so if I'm being honest like this is all just very frustrating mentally I'm gonna start crying it just it sucks, I can't, I can't do basic things on my own. I can barely even like feed myself. So, I'm just trying to get day by day, but definitely gets to me. Uh, yeah, and that is my day today, so far.